if you're anything like me, you probably still get excited for a lot of Counter-Strike updates that come through. And and, and no, no surprise, last week, we, I was quite excited to, to see the new update that's going to come out because of everything that was spreading around social media. You know, the hype and everything of, of a new operation finally coming for the 25th birthday of Counter-Strike. 25 years of CS. I've been wanting to make a video for a while, but there wasn't much to talk about. I really didn't think there was anything worth bringing up to the conversation. And today I thought, you know what? I want to talk to you guys about this. I want to hear what you think, what your thoughts are on this. So, hey, hi, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever the hell you're from. Hello, kings, queens, Apache, helicopters, whatever you want to be. How are you? It's been a while. We haven't spoken for a bit. I haven't made a video in a bit. And trust me, I've wanted to. I've wanted to. And now I can talk about this. I can actually dive into this a bit because I really want to get your input. I really want to get your information. If it wasn't for the last week of uh, the countless the countless excitement for the updates and everything to come out, I would not have been excited for this as as I was. I finally believe that hey, this is the operation. And you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Influencers, influencers. I guess what they do is they influence. If you follow any other people, I follow on Twitter. You know, you have the you have the the, the valve leakers and and all the people that data mine files and stuff that's going to come out from from the new CS updates and the depots that's happening, you get quite excited because you see some cool things, keychains, new skins, new cases, new maps, blah, 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 whatever the hell. And then we got, we got an update. We actually got an update on June 26th, my birthday. It was a great day for an update. I'm not going to lie. Thank you, Valve. Great day for an update. And we got, we got five new maps, two wingman maps, uh, arms race map, and two competitive maps. No premium, unfortunately, no maps being brought back. But it was cool. It was cool to see, and and I was I was kind of excited to play them. I was kind of excited to check them out, and, and they look good. They look good. These maps really look good. But that that was it. That was it. And that's not what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about the fact that we got a, a mid ass update because in my mind, it was a good update, but it was it it did end up kind of mid. We got something new. What I want to talk about is the hype it builds around when these people are leaking or talking about potential operations or potential big updates that are coming. I'm in no form or shape saying that whatever we just got doesn't mean that the Valve homies are not working on anything else. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that the Valve devs are still working on everything. They're working on the anti-cheat. They're working on micro stutters and, and, and game balancing and, and, and how the game works. I'm pretty sure that's still happening. But what I want to talk about is I want to get your opinion on something. Now, I remember when I started playing CSGO, um, when I really, really got into it, because you had the CS source before, the 1.6. I mean, I played those, but I I never quite got into it as much as I got into CSGO. And I remember back then, when we got an update of like a new map, we would be over the moon, regardless of whether it was a wingman map or an arms race. We didn't care. It was so great. It was so, so great because we got an update. We got something that's all we wanted. But now, after all these years of, I guess you want to say a little bit lackluster communication from Valve and having all these influencers on twitter youtube instagram wherever the hell wherever you follow them wherever you watch them twitch you have all these people hyping things up and you get quite excited and then these updates come out and you feel kind of disappointed you feel kind of disappointed as a player because you were expecting something bigger something better something greater from the game that you love only to get hit with a competitive map that you barely care about because all people care about now is premier premier is like the face that we have now except there's just 102% more cheaters. But that's fine. Regardless of that, you can still go play face it. What I really want to talk about is these map creators. I want you to put yourself in the scenario of being a map creator, right? You're a map creator for one of the greatest games of all time, and your map is going to be put into the main game. That, is, that must be an amazing feeling. I cannot fathom what that could feel like. That must be a great feeling, a great piece of excitement for you to experience as a map designer. And the problem with that is what I'm thinking. The problem with that is having just your map being put out and having this crazy excitement only for a community to absolutely downplay and downfall and downvote that update. You put so much effort into creating a map only for the community to be like, is this it? That's all we get? Where's the operation? Where's this? Where's that? And I want to get your opinion. What do you think about this? Yes, obviously updates are great. We love updates, but obviously some players, including me, we're a little bit disappointed. I was honestly a little bit disappointed. I think the most fun part about this update is the fact that you now only need to get two wins in order to get your ranking up in matchmaking uh, or competitive, as they call it now, as opposed to Premier, where it's still, you know, your 10 games or whichever. That was the most exciting part of the update for me. I liked the maps, but I didn't care for them. I didn't care for them at all. 
And in my mind, in the moment, I was like, I don't give a fuck about these maps. I don't want to play the maps. I want to do this. I want to get an operation. I want to do that. I want to do, you know, whatever. But then if I think about it a little bit, I'm thinking these poor map creators or these map designers, imagine putting all the effort in the world into a new map, into a new map that you are now finally going to be able to show the world that's going to be put into the game only for it to get crazy backlash from the community. Don't get me wrong. I think these maps are great. They're all super clean. They're awesome. They're, dare I say, futuristic compared to like, you know, the, the, the CSGO maps, whatever. And these are community maps. These are maps made by people from the community. These are Valve maps. And I think that's freaking awesome. However, the moment the update came out, like I said, I was kind of disappointed. And it made me think, you know, I wonder what these map creators feel like when their map is finally in the game, only for it to be received with such a, such a negative, negative impact. You know, I, I really, I really, I really, really do believe in my heart that the Valve employees are still working on stuff. They're still cooking. They're still doing their thing. You know, sometimes, I guess sometimes we just get a little bit tired of waiting. And, and then that's pretty much it. I, I didn't really have much that I wanted to talk about the past two weeks or stuff that I wanted to bring up. But I really thought that I would love to get your input on this. What do you think of the maps, number one? Number two, what do you think about, what do you think about just getting an update at all you know did you still get excited or were you kind of also disappointed were you also a little bit sad what do you think about the matchmaking changes just a quick just a quick little let's let's talk about this is this going to be the new cycle that we're going to follow without this we're going to get excited or are we going to get hyped up by a bunch of influence a bunch of leakers only for the map designers to be degraded in the end and being like we don't care about your maps we want new games we want new, or not new games we want new stuff in the game to actually work I kind of get, I get the sentiment of fix the game first. I get that. Trust me, I get that. I play this game every day. But I also am trying to teach myself to enjoy the little things we get. And that's why I'm going to leave it off to you. Leave a like, leave a comment, talk to me down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think about these updates? What do you think about this update? What are your thoughts on CS2? It's been 25 years of this game. What are your thoughts now? Do you still enjoy the game? Are you kind of quitting? I'm not quitting yet. I've quit a bit, but I haven't quit. I keep saying I'm going to quit, but it's like a drug. I always come back. Anyway, that's what I want to talk about. I just wanted to bring it up, bring to light, have a good little conversation about it. Uh, let me know down below. Leave a comment, leave a like. If you enjoy videos like this, you should subscribe. Um, also, do me the biggest favor, right? Twitch.tv forward slash Enrique. I stream there pretty much every single day. And we talk about things like this. We play this game. We play a lot of games, but we play this game mostly. We talk about this game. We experience this game. We experiment with this game. The game. That's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, and if you know, you know, you just lost the game. Anyway, I love you. Thanks for watching. And yeah, this is, yeah, I really hope we get an operation shoot. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of in the mood for one, but I, I, Valve doesn't know how to count to three anyway. So, I mean, we're not probably going to get, anyway. I, bye.